In Belgium, there are actually two different kinds of Belgian waffles, but you probably only know about one of them. The first is the Brussels waffle, and the second one is what we're gonna make today, and it's the Liege waffle, and it is definitely my favorite. So I'm so excited to show you the recipe. So the Liege waffle from Belgium is a little bit different than the Belgian waffles that we eat here in America because it starts off with um, active dry yeast. So I'm gonna start off with one third cup whole milk and I'm gonna microwave it to make it a little bit lukewarm, so probably about 20 to 25 seconds. Now that our milk is warmed up, we're gonna put the yeast in it. So these packets normally come with about three teaspoons of yeast inside. For this recipe, we only need one and three quarters teaspoon. Now in order to activate this active dry yeast, you have to put a little bit of sugar in the mixture as well. So I have one and a half tablespoons of granulated sugar. We're gonna dump that in, let the sugar absorb in there, and then we're gonna leave it to rest for about 10 minutes. With water, it only takes about five, but because we're using milk, it's probably gonna take about 10 minutes for the yeast to start foaming. So in addition to all of my favorite foods, fries, waffles, chocolate, uh, Belgium is also famous for their beer, which is something I'm not crazy about, but I can give them credit for. Um, in Belgium, they have 1,100 variants of beer, but they're most famous for Lambic. And Lambic, I, okay, preface, I'm probably saying this wrong because I don't speak the language, but um, the way I read it is Lambic. And it is a naturally fermenting beer, so they leave it in barrels, open barrels overnight, and they let the natural yeasts ferment the beer. And it makes this variant of beer that they're famous for. So we waited about 10 minutes and our yeast is now nice and bubbly, which means that we get to start making the waffles. Um, so in this container, I have two cups of flour and I'm gonna put into it one half teaspoon of salt and then two and a half tablespoons of sugar. So these are our dry ingredients. I'm just gonna mix them really quick, just to combine them. All right, they're probably nice and combined now, and so I'm gonna take a spatula and make a little well in the middle. So I'm gonna have just a little hole in the middle of the flour and I'm gonna pour this yeast mixture, mixture inside. So the yeast mixture is in here. We're gonna mix it for about a minute and a half. So after about a minute and a half, you'll see that our mixture's kind of dry and crumbly in here. Now we're gonna add the wet ingredients. So I have three eggs. They're all room temperature. And I'm gonna crack them, whisk them up in a separate bowl, and then put them into the mixture one by one. And in between adding each egg, I'm gonna mix for about one minute each. So I crack the egg, I'm gonna whisk it up. I'm gonna pour this one in and then we're gonna mix it up for about one minute before we add the next one. While that's mixing up, I'll crack these ones. All right, our eggs are all mixed in. So now I have two sticks of butter that I melted in my Sam the Toucan mug. And I'm gonna pour that into the mixture as well. And then one teaspoon of vanilla. Now your mixture is gonna seem really buttery. That's because it is really buttery because there's two sticks of butter. But this is what's really gonna put a good um, film over the top of the waffles when you're actually cooking them on the waffle iron. And they're really delicious. So. It's gonna take a little bit for this to mix in, probably about three to four minutes, so that all this butter can get mixed into the um, mixture. And then we're gonna leave it to rise for about two hours. Okay, so our dough has been rising for about two hours. So, look at that, beautifully risen and ready to go. Okay, now earlier I told you that there was two different types of waffles that they make in Belgium. First, there's um, the Brussels waffle. And what that is, is it's kind of what we describe as a normal Belgian waffle in America. So um, it's a very uniform shape, um, deep pockets, and made in the same way that we normally make waffles here. The exciting thing is the Liege waffle. And this is, again, what I really love. So a Liege waffle is, the special ingredient in them is these um, little, Belgian pearl sugars. Now this I had to get off of Amazon. It was about $16 for two bags of these. Um, and I had them you know, shipped in from Belgium so that I can make these Liege waffles for you. So they're just little kind of pellets of sugar. If you don't feel like importing Belgian pearl sugar, you can also take um, uh, sugar cubes and you can crush them up and put them in your uh, Belgian waffles as well. So I'm gonna pour this in. 
and I'm going to use a spoon. You can also use your hands to mix the Belgian pearl sugar in, evenly distribute it. And when you do, your um, dough is gonna deflate a little bit because it's been rising for so long, but it's gonna deflate a little bit. Come back down to kind of its normal size. Make sure that you really get those pearl sugars mixed in as well as you can. Now, our waffle iron is heating up to 350 degrees. This I found is, is a good temperature because any more than that and your sugar will start to burn. Um, so you wanna keep it at about 350 degrees and then you're gonna cook them for maybe like four-ish minutes, four to five minutes, depending on your waffle iron. What this is gonna do is these little Belgian pearl sugars that are in the dough, um, they're gonna start to caramelize and they're gonna form this really awesome crust that's like a good sugary, buttery crust on the outside of the Belgian waffles. They're really great warm, but even too, if you wanna leave the Belgian waffles to cool, um, they kind of harden a little bit and they taste really good like a dessert too. So you can eat them that way as well. Okay, so I've mixed all of my Belgian pearl sugar in. My waffle iron is heated up to 350 degrees. So I'm gonna open it up, Whew, got some steam. Spray it with some nonstick spray. This is very important. And then I take about three tablespoons of mixture and I put that in the waffle iron. So I kind of um, layer them out horizontally on here. There's four spots for waffles, but I tend to only use two of them to make the waffles. Otherwise, they start to uh, form together into like one big mega waffle. And that might be okay for a Brussels waffle, but with a liege waffle, they're supposed to be um, not uniform in shape. So they're supposed to be a little irregular and um, they're not supposed to be perfect squares. So if I put, if I use all four waffle spots, um, it'll start to form into four perfect squares and I don't want that. So, okay, I've put the dough on here. I'm gonna shut this. Now my waffle iron is fantastic and it tells me when about three or four minutes is up. Um, so my little red light is gonna come on and tell me when I should check them. You can also just you know, look at a timer, three to four minutes. Um, if you like them a little bit darker, then you can do them for five or six too. So my waffles have cooked probably for about five or six minutes. It took a little bit long for my waffle iron to heat up. So I'm gonna take them out now. I'm gonna be really careful though because uh, like I said, the um, sugar starts to caramelize and so you need to be careful when you touch them because it can burn you really easily. So I just use a fork and I just kind of try to lift them off of the griddle and put them here. And as you can see, they are irregular shapes like I was talking about. They're not perfect squares um, and that is just the way they are supposed to be. I'm really excited for you guys to try them. They do have some funky ingredients, but they're a really, really, really good and really authentic recipe if you really want a true taste of Belgium and something incredibly delicious to try. So I hope that you love them. Um, I hope that you try them. If you do, let me know how it goes in the comments and always um, come back. We're gonna be doing more countries as the weeks go on. So I'm really excited to keep sharing recipes with you. So if you all are really liking these videos and you want to see more of them, then remember to just hit the subscribe button down there and then that way you can make sure not to miss anything else.